Yo, what's up, guys? I'm trying to uh, give you some information on where I'm at. I've been out here for a total of seven days, seven whole days. And uh, um, like I said, I put my uh, I put my Dallas Cowboy pennant up, see if I can get some reaction out of that. And uh, so what I want to talk about, yeah, I wanted to talk about my mindset after seven days out here. And uh, let me tell you, let, let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm always looking, it, I don't know if it's a flaw or a good thing, but a lot of times I'm always looking at where else I could be. All right. Where else could I be? Never, uh, a lot of times, but a lot of times I'm just not satisfied. You know, I can't get no satisfaction. Anyway, yeah, I can't, I can't get satisfied. So that's my issue. I'm always looking at where else I could be. But at the same time, it's gotten me to do a lot of things. I've done a lot of stuff since, uh, in my young age. Like sometimes I hear about these, these guys, um, anybody who have done like i'll go to a warehouse and be like yeah i've been working here 20 years i'm like oh my god like that freaks me out and, and you know and when people say that like oh i've been doing this since i just i don't have that in me so and i knew this when i became a truck driver like people are like oh my god you're doing truck driving now i'm like yeah next year you know i might decide to be a zookeeper and try that out so i've never been looking for a career you know, uh, I was a uh, parasail captain down in Florida. I uh, did that for about 10 years. Loved that. I enjoyed that, but it got old after a while. But that was like I was making such good money that I wanted to leave. And I came home. Then I worked with juveniles, taking them out hiking in the woods for a couple days. Um, did that for a while. Uh, I just got a... a yeah, so anyway, I, I did that, and I decided to open up my own uh, landscaping company. So I opened up a little landscaping company, did that, decided to do personal training, did that. Uh, um, decided I have a, I still have this, a, uh, um, a lemonade and kettle corn vending business for big fairs and festivals. Love doing that. I do that, so I, I'm always jumping around, trying new stuff. A spin instructor, so it's an issue. But it, it, like I said, it's hard for me. I do something, I get it done. And I'm like, all right, got it. What's next? All right, did that. That was pretty cool, but everything gets old to me, you know. So anyway, that's uh. Hopefully, this video will come out a little bit better. I got a tablet, right? I went and bought a tablet for coming out in the road here because I'm like, all right, I, I need something. And the thing keeps shutting down on me. It, it, like la last week, it shut down for like two days. And I had a really old phone because I was like, well, do I want a new phone or do I get a tablet and just keep my old phone for calling and texting? I'll use this tablet. So I did that. And uh, last week, it like shut down for like two days. So I was out here with like basically nothing. I was like, you're kidding me. So I found, I got into a Verizon. He like rebooted it or something. He's like, all right, it's fine. It was probably updating it, shut down. And sure enough, yesterday it did it. But while I was there, I went and bought a new phone. Cause I was like, yo, I can't be stuck out there with nothing. So I'm trying this video on this, this new phone. So hopefully it will come out pretty good. So that's why you might see me looking around on the video, on the, on the phone a little bit and figuring out what it's doing. Like I just had an incoming call. I was like, I still, I don't, I don't even know how to answer a phone yet. But I had an incoming call, I just looked at it. And so, um, so where was I? So anyway, so I bounce around a lot, which is good. But something I know about me, and so when I said I'm gonna be a truck, truck driver, a lot of people are like, really? I'm a mover, see, I love being outside, but I like to move, you know? I, I, I like to be moving. And, so how's this seven days going? It's going good. I actually enjoy, I, or I have been enjoying the lifestyle. Um, the lifestyle of living out of the truck, getting up, going, getting from A to B, figuring out my trip, uh, you know, and, and it's been 
pretty cool. Like I like when I, I'm figuring out to get to A to B and I get there and I deliver the load and kind of have a little sense of accomplishment. I like being out here, uh, doing my thing, you know, uh, nobody around, um, nobody bothering me up my butt all the time. So, um, I, I'm in, I'm enjoying that part. I really, I don't really mind driving. I mean, at times it's stressful. I, I they sent me to, I, I said this on last video, they sent me to Clifton, New Jersey, man. I was like, in this little tiny city, man. I was freaking out. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the mayor, uh, I think I said that the mayor had to have called everybody and be like, yo, there's a big orange truck driving around here. Everybody watch out for him. I was going like five miles an hour through that place. But, uh, so anyway, um, but uh, for the most part, I like driving, I'm getting used to the truck. My shifting's getting better. Um, you know, yesterday was a really good day. I, I felt like I really had a good handle on the truck. So uh, that was cool. But getting back to what I was saying, um, in our little, like I said in my previous videos, I was thinking about going to flatbed. And the reason I went to flatbed is because I knew I was a worker. I like to get outside. I like to move around. And um, so I, I was thinking, but Schneider kind of called first, and I had some issues. Um, you know, 15 years ago, I had two DUIs. Um, I don't drink anymore, but so the two DUIs, all of a sudden I realized was going to be an issue, which I, I didn't think about. And uh, so Schneider was like, oh, yeah, no problem. So they were the first one so to, to kind of give me a call back and, and really say, yeah, we'll, we'll teach you and we'll, we'll give you a shot. You know, now I know there's a whole bunch of companies that would give me a shot because they were so long ago. But um. So I really want to do flatbed, but then, then Schneider called and, uh, or, you know, like I said, because I could get out there and work. So, so yesterday I was thinking, I've been driving for a while. I'm probably driving, you know, like 400 miles a day. I'm probably putting in, that's about eight hours of driving. I'm in me eight, nine between stopping and getting back in. And, uh, I've been checking out the dollar general accounts now. I was thinking about the Dollar General when I first came over, but I actually heard about all the tight spots they had to back into. And I was like, you know, I don't think I'm ready for that. And I'm not saying I want to go over there yet. Or I want to do that yet because I still don't feel like I have enough experience. I'm still backing up. I thought my backing was really good, like in school and even at Schneider. They're like, oh, your backing's really good. Then when I got out here, I like... uh I started messing up real bad. Like my setups were like real bad. Like I would set up and I'd start back. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm not even close. And then, uh, you know, and I think too, when I'm back here, other truckers are waiting. So I feel bad. So I'm like, oh shit. And then I get rushed and then I do worse. You know how it is. You, you start to rush, you get worse. Just like golfing. Yeah, you, know, you golfers out there. You start thinking about it and rushing and uh, your shots out of it. And that's how everything is really. You know, when I calm down and relax, you know, there's usually not a problem. So, um, the reason I didn't take the dollar general is cause I was, uh, I heard about how much labor there was and the backing situation. So I was like, you know what? I'll go OTR and, uh, I I'll learn, learn how to drive the truck. And, but you know what? Like they're sending me into some crazy spots, even OTR. So, but I still think I'm going to be out here for a little bit in, in three months, I'm going to Alaska for a 10 day cruise. So I've already started thinking about where else I could be. Maybe I think I'll go to Dollar General cause I'll be better. I'll get out and I'll be moving around a little more. I like a little physical activity and I'll be driving. It'll be like the best of both, both worlds, but I don't know. Cause then as soon as I get on the Dollar General, I'll be driving around there and I'll be like, maybe flatbed might be better. Maybe I'll be, flatbed would be pretty cool, but I'm, I'm really, I don't want to leave Schneider. That's for darn sure. Um, I want to learn with them. I always said I wanted to stay with them for a year and then reevaluate my situation. So I definitely going to stay with that plan uh, um, and, and see what happens from there. So anyway, anybody has anything to say about that Dollar General account, uh, you know, throw it in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, or, or, you know, I'm looking for the best of both worlds. Little activity. That's why I thought flatbed would be nice. Um, little activity, not too much. And yet I'm still driving and getting around. 
Um, like I said, I'm enjoying the lifestyle. It, it, it's, it definitely suits me. Uh, so we'll see how, how it all works. And uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, if you guys got anything, any questions or any comments, go ahead, throw them down in the, the comment box. And uh, um, if you, you do Dollar General for Schneider and you're seeing this, you, you want to tell me about it, um, that'd be cool too. I ain't scared. I ain't scared to work a little. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Still, I, I'm not going anywhere for a couple months. I'm going to do this OTR until I get my feel for a truck, till I'm real comfortable. Until I see a spot and be like, yo, man, I'll back that shit right in there. Only. Anyway, that's enough from me. I'm going to stop this. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Stay safe. Stay slow. Stay safe. All that good stuff. All right, guys.